Hello, I'm Mark Hudson-Peacock. I'm the medical director of Exroid, and I'm here to talk about hemorrhoids. So who gets them? Well, just about anybody can get hemorrhoids. There are some popular misconceptions about who gets hemorrhoids, particularly people think that it's old people that get them. Some think it's pregnant women that get them. And yes, they do, there's no doubt about it. But that misses out the majority of patients who are not within those groups. We know from research that's been carried out that more than half of the sufferers occur in two age groups, 35 to 44 and 45 to 54. Even 10% of patients are under the age of 30. So that's a, a lot of people across a broad spread of the population. But why do certain people get them? Well, we know that family history can have an important part to play in this. So if your father, mother or grandparents have suffered from hemorrhoids, there's a greater chance that you may as well. We know that patients who are overweight are more likely to suffer from hemorrhoids. We know that patients who uh, don't have a great diet, who tend to constipation, irritable bowel disease, are more prone to getting hemorrhoids, partly around the, the, the reason for them having to strain when they're on the toilet. And straining is the worst thing that you can do if you're trying to avoid or aggravating pre-existing hemorrhoids. Are there other things that can contribute? Yeah, coming back to that pressure. If you're lifting heavy objects, if you're sat in a sedentary position for long periods of time, such as a taxi driver, a lorry driver, where diet may not be um, good and junk food is eaten. So all of these things can impact on patients in terms of their risks of getting hemorrhoids. So looking at the simple things around diet, around exercise, around moving about, about thinking about things when you're lifting heavy objects, getting help, doing it a different way, so you can reduce the risk of aggravating that part of the anatomy. There are a number of myths around hemorrhoids, why people get them or why they believe they get them. One of the most common ones is sitting on wet or cold surfaces for long periods of time, which is complete rubbish. Sitting on surfaces for long periods of time don't have to be wet or cold, they can be just sat in a chair, um, a taxi chair, a lorry driver's chair, etc. sat on a, a computer chair. So it's the sitting, not the, not the cold or the wet surface that qualifies the, the increased risk of getting hemorrhoids. Another common myth is around healthy people not getting hemorrhoids. Well, that's complete rubbish. Healthy people can get hemorrhoids, unhealthy people can get hemorrhoids. We know that the incidence of hemorrhoids increases with increasing weight, but you can be young and fit and thin and do all the workouts and still get hemorrhoids for all sorts of other reasons. So two myths there to debunk. There is another one around going to the gym. Um, if you go to the gym, you're gonna get hemorrhoids. Well, yes, you can get hemorrhoids if you go to the gym, but you don't need to get hemorrhoids and you don't necessarily get hemorrhoids. It depends on other factors that Im impact on your um, quality of life, on the quality of your bowel health. Um, and if everything is in the wrong place at the wrong time, going to the gym may aggravate hemorrhoids. But if you're careful about the exercises you choose, if you protect your bowel um, so that when you go to the gym, you're not putting the bottom under any particular stress, thinking about how you engage with weightlifting and to choose exercises um, that are appropriate if you're suffering at that time, not to aggravate them. All sensible things, but going to the gym in itself is not a cause of hemorrhoids. Another myth that's out there is a link between spicy foods and getting colon cancer or bowel cancer. There is no evidence that eating spicy food increases the risk of that. End of. Another myth is around the, the difficulty or ease of treating hemorrhoids. A lot of people believe it's very difficult. It's not, it doesn't need to be. Uh, there are a lot of simple things that one can do to help hemorrhoid sufferers, starting with getting the diet right, drinking plenty of water, um, and then you can move on to simple soothing solutions such as suppositories and creams which you can buy over the counter. And if that's not working, then getting medical advice is very important to make sure that what you think are hemorrhoids are hemorrhoids and not something else, and to get the right treatment and the right advice at the right time.